But now we are a nation in decline. We are a failing nation. We are a nation that has the highest inflation in 50 years. And where the stock market finished the worst first half of the year since 1872. Likewise, we are a nation that has the highest energy cost in its history. We are no longer energy independent or energy dominant as we were just two short years ago. We are a nation that is begging Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, and many other countries for oil. Please, please, please help us, Joe Biden says. Yet we have more liquid gold right under our feet than any other country. We are a nation that is consumed by the radical left's Green New Deal. Yet everyone knows that the Green New Deal will lead to our total destruction. We are a nation whose leaders are demanding all electric cars, even though they can't go far, cost too much, and whose batteries are produced in China with materials only China has available to them, when an unlimited amount of gasoline is available inexpensively in the United States, but not available in China. We are a nation that ended oil exploration and production in the United States, just as the price of oil reached an all-time high. What other country would do such a thing? We are a nation that surrendered in Afghanistan, leaving behind dead soldiers, American citizens, and $85 billion worth of the finest military equipment in the world. And we are a nation that allowed Russia to devastate a country, Ukraine, killing hundreds of thousands of people. And it will only get worse. It would never have happened with me as your commander in chief. As for four straight years, it didn't happen. And China with Taiwan is next. We are a nation that has weaponized its law enforcement against the opposing political party like never before in our history. We've got a Federal Bureau of Investigation that won't allow bad election changing facts to be presented to the public and which offers one million dollars to a writer of fiction about Donald Trump to lie and say it was fact and pays a man two hundred thousand dollars to get Trump where Hunter Biden's laptop from hell was Russian disinformation, and the FBI knew it wasn't, and a Department of Justice that refuses to investigate egregious acts of voting irregularities and fraud. And we are a nation that has to take care of these things because we have the worst president in the history of our country who is cognitively impaired and in no condition to lead and is now casually talking about nuclear war with Russia, which would be World War III and far more devastating than any of the previous wars because of the weaponry that no one even wants to think about. And we are a nation that no longer has a free and fair press. Fake news is all you get. And we are a nation that loves to be rained upon. Let's stay out here and go. Let's stay out here, right? I'm not leaving. We are a nation where free speech is no longer allowed, where crime is rampant and out of control like never before, and where more people died of COVID in 2021 than in 2020. And we are a nation that is allowing Iran to build a massive nuclear weapon in China, to use the trillions of dollars it has taken from us to build a military to rival our own. And just two years ago, we had Iran 
China, Russia, and North Korea in check. And they weren't going to do a thing against us. Not a thing. Not a thing. Most importantly, we are a nation that is no longer respected or listened to around the world. We are a nation that in many ways has become a joke. And we are a nation that is hostile, think of it, to liberty, freedom, and faith. We are a nation whose economy is collapsing into a cesspool of ruin, whose supply chain is broken, whose stores are not stocked and whose deliveries are not common, whose educational system is ranked at the bottom of every single list. We are a nation where large packs of sadistic criminals and thieves are allowed to go into stores and openly rob them, beat them up and kill their workers and customers and leave with armloads of goods, but with no retribution where the authority of our great, great, great police has been taken, where their families and their pensions have been threatened, and their lives would be destroyed for the mere mention of the words law enforcement. We are a nation where people are allowed to murder, kill, rob, and rape innocent victims, and they have no cash bail, and they are back on the streets and allowed to do whatever they do within hours. are easier to get than formula for our beautiful little babies. A nation whose once revered airports are dirty, crowded messes, where you sit and wait for hours, and then you're notified that the plane won't leave, and they have no idea when they will, where ticket prices have tripled, they don't have the pilots to fly the planes, they don't see qualified air traffic controllers, and they just don't know what the hell they're doing. We are a nation that has lost its confidence, willpower, and strength. We are a nation that has no confidence. Whoever thought we would say that? But we are not going to allow this horror to continue. Two years ago, we were a great nation, and we will soon be a great nation again. left Democrats 
and the dangerous and unpatriotic rhinos. And we will fight for America like no one has ever fought before. And it's lucky I have a great memory because I cannot see a word on these things. You think Biden would still be up here? I don't think so. There is no mountain we cannot climb. There is no summit we cannot reach. There is no challenge we cannot meet. There is no victory we cannot have. Is everybody having a good time? Is this break. We will not yield. We will never, ever give in. We will never give up. And we will never back down. This country will never back down. Because as long as we are confident, united, and loyal to the cause, the tyrants we are fighting do not stand even a chance. Because we are Americans, and Americans kneel to God and God alone. The journey has just begun, only just begun. Even the mic can't make it, but we can. I'm telling you, this is the greatest rally we've ever had. And it is time to start talking about greatness for our country again. We are one movement, one people, one family, and one glorious nation under God. So with the incredible help of everyone here today, we will make America powerful again. America wealthy again. Make America dry again. Make America strong again. We will make America proud again. We have to make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you, Florida. God bless you.